just did my crying out loud. Where the... Oh, no! Hey, listen, Skip, we gotta talk to you. No, 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 not in broad daylight, you don't. Now, you two lovebirds have been pushing your luck as it is. Now, come on, Gloria, on your way. Quinn, it's important. Oh, listen, honey, you know how Binghamton feels about enlisted men and female officers that keep him company. If he were to find you two together, he'd... He'd hang you from a yard arm for two. Come on, Gloria, please, go. Yeah, but that's just the point. She is going. Good, good. In 48 hours. Oh, please, Quinn, I'm getting shipped out on the level. Now you're kidding. I'm being rotated back to the States. That's why I've got to get permission to talk to the captain. Sure, sure, anything at all. You what? Yeah, that's why I've got to talk to Binghamton. I thought maybe he'd give us permission to get married. Before... Married? <laughs> Look, you better take him to sick bay. He's delirious. I know it's against Navy policy and it's almost impossible, but, Quinn, we've got to try something. Ah, uh, believe me, honey. Ah, uh, the Japanese are more on your side than Binghamton. Well, I've got a chance anyway, Skip. Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute now, Christy. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Oh, help! What's going on, Mikhail? What are you doing here, Lieutenant? Uh, well, uh, Lieutenant Winter's just helping out, sir. Uh, my boy Christy here isn't feeling too well. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I, oh, oh, I, I think he got a kind oh. of a pain in his stomach, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I just happened to be passing by and offered my assistance. Yes. Um, are you sure there's no hanky-panky going on here, Mikhail? <laughs> I've had a report that one of your saltwater Romeos has been hanging around the nurses' quarters. Oh, no. Uh, uh, hanky panky with with my men uh, with the nurses why that's impossible sir i'm sure the thought never even entered their mind uh, let me see your tongue uh, frankly he doesn't look very sick to me oh because... well take my word for it captain he is oh, why if you'd heard him a couple of minutes ago even you would agree it was out of his mind yes sir i'll do what you can for him if he gets any worse put him in sick bag. yes sir Carry on. yes sir <laughs> well, bye bye captain <laughs> bye <laughs> that was close Come on. Now, listen, you two. You, you behave yourselves, and I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. You mean you'll talk to the captain for Are you still out of your mind? Of course I won't go to Binghamton. We'll just have to figure out something. Now, come on, Christy. Let's get going. <laughs> wonder what kind of medal you get for seeing that kind of action. <laughs> Anything yet, Skip? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hey, Skip, I got it! What? Here, shoot me! What? <laughs> In the leg! Look, at then that way I can get shipped back to the States, and while I'm recuperating, Gloria and I can get married. No, oh, that stuff, will you, mister? And secure what bird brains you do have? We gotta figure this thing out. Yeah, but how? Everything's against us. Well, we've broken rules and regulations before. We can, there's a way to beat this one, too. Huh. Hey, that's it. Huh? The Padre. The Padre? Yeah, Father Nelson. He, he's a missionary. He used to try to save my soul every so often. <laughs> he has a mission over on Kuakai, about 100 miles from here. You know something? I could sneak you and Gloria over there tomorrow night, get you hitched, and have you back here by dawn. Oh, Skip, could you? Would you? Why, we'll name our first kid after you. What? <laughs> well, that's after we have one. Uh. Oh, couldn't this be beautiful? <laughs> Wouldn't old Brass and Braids really bust a gusset for you? <laughs> we'll do it, boy! <laughs> only, only it's gotta be kept a secret, see? Nobody else can know, but nobody. I can tell Gloria, can't I? Well, of course you can, you nitwit. But nobody else. Or that ball and chain you're after will wind up around your neck. Oh, yes, sir, I won't tell a soul. Yeah, hey, good boy. All right, now, uh, beat it, will you, kid? I got a course to chart. On the sea of matrimony. <laughs> Okay, Fuji, baby, deal him. Yeah, from the top this time, huh? Hey, Groove, how much to rate your iron? Same as always. Buck for the iron, 50 cents for the cord. Oh, come on, Groove. Now, look, this is urgent. I'm losing money, and he says it's urgent. What's so urgent? Oh, I've got to press my whites, that's all. Uh-huh. Something's up I don't know about. Now, give or no iron? No 
Oh, please. Kim. Watch my hand, Fuji. Now, look, I'm not supposed to say anything, but Gloria and I are going to get married tomorrow, but it's got to be kept quiet. You're kidding. No, 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 no. Honest. Yeah, the skipper's going to fix it. But please don't tell anybody, okay? Of course not. Hey, you guys! It's hush hush, but Krista here is getting hitched tomorrow. Now, look. I'll dig a wedding party if you figure on having cater. They used to be a maitre, do you know? Now look, the deluxe dinner is, say, five bucks a man. Fooj, go out and swipe some chicken somewhere, baby. No, no, wait a minute. Look, it's just supposed to be me, Gloria, and the skipper, of course. But you mean I... we're not invited? You're oh, getting you married without us? Uh, gentlemen, I'm crushed. Well, gee, fellas, it's not that well, I don't want you to be getting there. married if it wasn't for me. Who introduced you to Gloria? Well, you did, but you had to. You were stuck with two days. Who delivered your love notes? And who sold you those bracelets you gave Gloria? Oh, boy, is the skipper going to blow his stack? Oh, Krista, you got nothing to worry about. It's just gonna be the immediate crew. Yeah, yeah, just buddy. Buddy. Oh, gee, baby, we got a menu to prepare. Willie! Check. I'm brew up a batch of the best champagne you ever tasted. Yeah. Hey, what year should I make it? Like in 1902, that was a pretty good year. And look, don't spare the bubbles. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. See that the gentleman's wardrobe is neatly pressed and give him a good special job as a dear friend of mine. Check. And don't forget the wholesale rate. Gotcha. Uh, about the floral arrangements. And reasonable prices, of course. Surely you want a bridal bouquet. Flowers for the table, boutonnieres for the gentlemen, corsages for the young lady, right? Hi, Skip. Hi. Say, do you have any idea what all the excitement's about? Uh huh. All the preparations going on out there. Ah, uh, who knows? Uh, it could be Gruber throwing one of his shindigs. It could be his June celebration of July 4th. <laughs> With a wedding cake? It is a salute to June brides and... Did you say wedding cake? Yeah. Real beauty, too. What do you think? A wedding guy... cake? Yeah. Hey! Fuji? What in blazes is going on here? Hey, what's a wedding cake for? For a wedding party. What else? It's not about mitzvah. A wedding party? Who said anything about having a wedding party? No, you're not Miskipasan. I only work here. He's a Ketra. Gruber? Hey, I don't understand. Who? Hey, who's getting married? Who said there'd be a wedding party? Well, Christy told me you were helping him get you married, mean, so... Christy's getting married? Hey, uh, who's he getting huh. married to? And you decided to make a fast buck by turning in an allocated affair, huh? Oh, no, Skipper, this may be hard to believe, but I'm doing it at cost. I'll be lucky if I break even. Rupert, I'm putting you on notice right now. There'll be no wedding party. Oh, but Skipper... Will somebody please tell me who Christy's getting married to? Gloria Winters. Oh. Now, you listen to me. Gloria Winters. <laughs> You mean Lieutenant Winters? He's getting married to an officer? Yes! Now listen, the captain's orders and naval regulations specifically... Oh, say... come on, Charlie. We've been through all that. Now, we haven't gone by the book so far. There's no reason to do it now, is there? Well, why don't we ever try? Look, then why can't we have a wedding party? We'll keep it quiet and it'll make the kids real happy. And you richer. Oh, come on, Skipper. We can't let Christy get married without having his crew buddies there. Well, it'd be like not letting a guy's family come to his own wedding. <laughs> Well, I guess you guys have been through too much together to be shut out now. Okay. But everything is to be at cost, understand? No profit. And you've got to keep it quiet. There'll only be Gloria and Christy and the immediate crew. And nobody else. You understand? Nobody else. No, no, no. Absolutely not. We will not have any ushers at this wedding. <laughs> Molly, you're Gloria's commanding officer, and so I agree that you could be the maid of honor. But we will positively not have any ushers. But, Quint, the only way I could get the boys in the supply room to make the wedding dress was to invite them. <laughs> wedding dress? Besides, who's going to walk down the aisle with the bridesmaids? <laughs> what bridesmaids? Well, Skipper, you said it was all right if I had my immediate crew, and, well, it's only fair that Gloria has hers. After all, Quint, how many times does the girl get married? Well, at the rate we're going, she won't even be married once if Bingham finds out. I just spotted a boat coming this way from Terra Oh, if it's oh, Bingham, no. then we're dead. What do we do? We could invite him to the wedding. It might make him feel wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Harris is pulling in, Skipper. Lieutenant Harris, you sure it isn't Binghamton? Oh, positive, sir. Boy, I've heard of weddings being nervous, but this is ridiculous. Well, look, uh, get rid of him, get rid of him. Tell him anything, but don't let him see anything. Oh, huh? don't worry, Skipper. He knows all about it. Good, good. <laughs> he what? 
How did he find out? Well, we had to invite him. The way the guest list has been growing, we needed another boat. <laughs> We're getting a regular wedding procession here. When do we rendezvous with the rest of the fleet? The rest of the fleet? Hey, what a catered affair that would make at five bucks a head. Hard to hear you. Hi, Commander. Hello, Harris. I just wanted to find out where you want my boat to rendezvous with yours tonight, sir. Well, why don't you pull it up behind the aircraft carriers and the battle wagons that I'm expecting? <laughs> oh, here. Here's where we're going. To a little island called Kuakai. Maya, Kuakai to ni riksentai wo jorik suru. Kuakai. should do it. Ah, come on, Commander. Why can't Gloria model her own dress? You know she only has a little time left to spend with, Christy, and you're the only other size eight available. Now, straighten up. Be happy, will you look at that? Ain't she beautiful? Gorgeous. A sight to behold. Why, 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 she has everything a man could ask for. Yeah. Muscles, a beard, a chest full of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Go on, beat it, you guys. Come on, Verge. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a dame like that who plays hard to get. <laughs> Come on, Tinker. Turn around and let me finish the back. <laughs> Dresses it. How you like, Skipper San? Oh, well, uh, take it easy with the icing, will you? Man, need another boat just to carry the cake. Ruby, you sure you don't have more people coming? Oh, no, it's a closed affair now. Uh, Honest. Forty-two people, and that includes the bride and groom. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to squeeze them in. <laughs> Wouldn't seem like a wedding without them now, would it? You got nothing to worry about. From here on in, everything's a breeze. An easy breeze. Uh -huh. Commander McHale! Commander McHale! I can spot a Binghamton's boat coming, and this time it really is him. Binghamton! Holy mackerel! Uh, Binghamton's coming! Condition red! Okay, <laughs> okay then go! Condition red! The captain! The captain! Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I don't get it. How did Binghamton find out? Are you kidding? You did everything to advertise this wedding, but for a radio commercial. Get out of here. <laughs> Think of you, bird brain. Get out of that dress, will you? Come on, will you move? Go on, back. <laughs> you, Christy, for the love of Mike, will you wipe off that lipstick? Get Molly and Gloria out of here, In the hut. quick. In the hut. Hurry In the hut. up. Hut. Come on. What do you want to be the Nusky Bazaar? I tail it for the hills and then take that blasted cupcake with you. Hurry up! Come on, will you? Chris. <laughs> Uh, hi, Captain. <laughs> uh, uh, well, well, welcome aboard, sir. Well, welcome aboard. Okay, Mikhail. Okay, what's going on? Uh, well, well uh, what makes you think anything's going on, sir? Mikhail, when I see that nothing is going on here, that's when I'm sure that something is going on here. <laughs> oh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Where is everybody? Uh, well, well, uh, well, uh, oh, well, uh, the men are pretty busy, sir. They're uh, checking their supply. Keep out of this. Uh, well, would, you, uh, would you care to step into my hut, sir? Uh, the spider to the fly. <laughs> oh, no, Mikhail. If you want me in there, it's because you don't want me out here. Oh? So <laughs> out here is where I intend to stay. Oh. In fact, I think I'll just do a little looking around. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Let's fight in the firing squad. Now don't worry, honey. I'll leave it open for you to breathe through. So somebody help me. I'm stuck. You and your size eight. Why don't you get yourself a gun? <laughs> Quickly, Simmons! Oh, not you. Hey, never mind. Now get me out of here. Oh, too late. 
Mikhail, somehow you always manage to clear the decks just in time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What in the blue Pacific is going on in here? What are they doing with these dresses? Uh, well, well, you see, sir, uh, uh, they're preparing uh, uh, a show that the Special Service Officer is putting on. Yes, sir. Special Service Officer? Yes, sir. Uh, Anson Parker. He's our Special Service Officer, and uh, he's a wizard, this stuff, sir. Uh, why, a uh, regular Zigfield. <laughs> is that right, mister? I am. <laughs> I mean, I am, yes. <laughs> Oh, they all call me Ziggy. <laughs> uh, all right, now, girls, or uh, guys, now, uh, let's uh, suit up and show the captain what we've all learned. <laughs> now, let's all go, right, Ziggy. Oh, One, two, three, and... and... <laughs> Cut it out. Keep your heads high. I said cut it out. He said cut it out. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Uh, well, it seems that the captain can't stay for the whole rehearsal, man. Uh, uh, captain, would you like to come down to Mess Hut and have a nice spot of coffee, sir? I don't want any coffee. And take your hands off me. Oh. How's bunk is this? Uh, uh, it's uh, mine, sir. Well, keep your sea bag under your bunk, sailor. Somebody's liable to trip on it this way. Oh! <laughs> what was that? Oh, well, that was me, sir. I still have that pain in my stomach, sir. You still got that pain? I'll see Lieutenant Winters about us. She'll give you something for it. Oh, Mikhail. <laughs> yes, sir. I almost forgot why I came over here. There's been so much confusion. <laughs> yes, sir. I have a little invitation for you. Oh? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm planning some exercises for tonight for the entire PT squadron. Huh? That may still bother you. T -t tonight? Yes, tonight. That is, if you don't have any other plans. Commander. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. We're entirely at your disposal. Yes, sir. That's very nice of you, Mikhail. I appreciate that. And I won't take up any more of your time. They need all the rehearsal they can get. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> rehearsal. Rehearsal. That's settled then, is it, Mikhail? I'll see you in the Rockettes at 2100 hours. 2100. Uh, yes, sir. Bye-bye, uh, sir. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Skipper, does that mean the wedding's off? As off as it can get, Christy. I'm sorry, but, well, we almost made it. Hey, let me out of here. <laughs> Holy smokes, you forgot the girls. Come on, Molly. There you are. <laughs> Why that? Kicking a woman when she's down, too. All right, here, honey. All right, put your feet down. <sighs> honey, we can't get married. Hold back the ocean, girl. We're not giving up the ship that fast. Yeah, I'm afraid we're licked this time, Molly. Not yet, we aren't. I think I've got an idea that can put old Binghamton on the rocks. Honey, you get the captain out of the way and say, help me, or I'll kiss you. Well, that's all right for openers. <laughs> and the boats, boys. I gotta get back to my battle station. <laughs> Come on. I don't understand this. Why all of a sudden do I have to have a checkup? Orders, Captain. Comfrey just sent down a request for immediate medical reports on all commanding officers. Oh, it's 103, sir. 103? That's ridiculous. I don't have any fever. I... Undoubtedly due to fatigue. <laughs> Mental stress. Undoubtedly. But I feel fine. Sorry, Captain. I'm afraid you're going to have to stay in the hospital for tonight. Or I tell the Admiral. Oh, I plan some exercises for tonight. You're not exercising tonight. You're resting. You'll just have to cancel your plans. <laughs> now, I'll give you a little something that'll help you sleep, and the medical officer can give you a thorough exam in the morning. I don't want that. Couldn't I just send my old x-rays over or something? Uh -uh. The admiral wouldn't like that. Now, be a good captain and lie down and turn over. <laughs> I could just scream. <laughs> My golly molly, you really did it, honey. You really did it. <laughs> Are you sure the captain's out, Commander? When I left, he was sleeping like a baby. <laughs> well, Quint, how about paying me off? 
How about uh, uh, later, Monty? Later. Uh, company's watching. <laughs> I sure hope the Padre will agree to marry us. Uh, honey, don't worry. We're on our way. Nothing can stop us now. Good to see you. Uh, thank heaven. <laughs> and I don't use that word loosely. <laughs> it's a blessing to see you. If you hadn't shown up, those Japanese would have found us sooner or later. Japanese here? Where, Padre? Oh, they've gone now. Your boat's frightened them off. Oh, good. <laughs> How many of you are there? Well, including the bride and groom, about 40. Bride and groom. <laughs> That's funny. For a minute, I thought you said something about a bride and groom. Well, I did, Padre. You see, we kind of combined a landing party with a wedding party. <laughs> Almost like killing two birds with one stone, huh? I don't understand. Well, come on along and I'll explain it to you. And with the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. should do something about that pain. Yeah, uh, well, it's being taken care of, sir, yes. Sir. Well, Lieutenant just walked me. It's a signal from Conflate about what happened at Kuakai. Oh? Well, what happened at Kuakai? You know darn well what happened at Kuakai. Admiral sent me a commendation. A commendation, sir? That's right. Nice work, Mikhail. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> There's only one thing puzzles me. How did you know there were Japanese way out there? Uh, 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 j Japanese. Oh, well, well, you know me, sir. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I, I can smell rice a hundred miles away, yes, sir. Oh, you've got some in your hair. <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh, they were eating when we jumped them, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, well, now you go ahead and get a good night's rest, sir. And... Yes, I need it. I don't understand. It was my health has just gone to pieces all of a sudden. Yes, nighty-night, Captain. Nighty-night. Night. <laughs> Very nice, sir. <laughs> well? Well, it isn't Niagara Falls, but a honeymoon's a honeymoon. <laughs> well, Quint, no company now. Oh, <laughs> 